To understand what happened, we first need to understand what a stable coin is. It's basically a cryptocurrency pegged to a more stable currency. What does that mean? It means that for every stable coin, two of the biggest ones right now are called Tether and USDC. For this stable coin to exist, it needs to have something backing it up, another asset normally the US dollar. So for one USDC, you need to have $1 in reserves. That means that if you have a thousand USDC tokens, at any time, they can be exchanged for a thousand US dollars. Stable coins are very important in what's known as the DeFi or the decentralized finance. Think of that as if you're going to a casino and you're gonna play poker, you have to go and you exchange your money, let's say a thousand dollars, to get a thousand dollars worth of poker chips now with those poker chips you sit at the table and you can start betting when you're done you go back you exchange your poker chips whatever you have left and you get dollars for that back that is basically a stable coin for you to operate within the DeFi, within the cryptocurrency ecosystem you need to have these stable coins because it's a lot cheaper to purchase stable coins and then with those stable coins you purchase different other currencies like bitcoin or ether and then just to go ahead and purchase bitcoin directly with us dollars so if you know that that's a better way to work within the DeFi. so the poker chips are the stable coins of the DeFi world the way this works is for example an ether is worth two thousand dollars right now you have two thousand dollars worth of ether so you have one ether and you decide that you know what i believe that the market is going to go down next week so i am going to grab my ether and i'm going to exchange it two thousand usdc tokens which is basically equivalent to two thousand dollars now let's say next week ether does lose on its price and let's say it loses by 50 percent one ether being worth two thousand dollars it is only worth one thousand dollars now but guess what your usdc is still worth two thousand dollars because it is pegged to the US dollar. Now with those USDC tokens, you can purchase now two Ether. So now you have two Ether for the price of one. Basically that is how it works. And that is how the stable coins are used within the DeFi. They also provide means for cryptocurrency loaning and borrowing. That is a key thing that we need to remember. The Terra UST coin, okay, this, it is very different from Tether and USDC in a key way this coin was not backed by actual us dollars but rather it was what it's known as an algorithmic or decentralized stable coin the idea of that is that through few clever mechanisms plus billions in bitcoin reserve the ust's dollar peg can be maintained without it having to be backed by the dollar now does that sound very fishy as it does to me it sounds more like a ponzi scheme but that is what it was used for terra luna ust what are they terra is a blockchain just like ethereum and bitcoin ethereum's blockchain produces ether tokens Bitcoin's blockchains produces Bitcoin tokens. So in Terra's case, it produces Luna tokens. Before all of this craziness happened, Luna was trading at around $85. To create one of these stable coins, UST, you needed to burn Luna. So you needed to destroy the Luna token that you were using to purchase these UST. So let's say last week you could have had 85 USTs for one Luna token because $85 uh, dollars were equivalent to one Luna token. That's what it was trading for. But now when you exchanged it, when you exchange the Luna token for the UST, you would have to burn the Luna token or it would basically be destroyed. That's what that means. This was a protocol, a deflationary protocol that was meant to make sure Luna's long-term growth. As more people bought USTs, more Luna would be burned and thus remaining Luna supply would be more valuable. This is the very interesting part. To bring people in and get them to buy USTs, the creators offered an insane 19.5 yield on staking. Staking is nothing more than just basically parking your money and holding it there. So think of it 
as a savings account in which you can't move your money. They were offering 19.5 yield on that. That is how crazy this was. This scheme that they came up with was called the Anchor Protocol. Instead of parking your savings at a bank for 0.06 interest rate, the pitch here was to put your money into UST where it could make nearly 20% in interest. Now, before the debacle happened, over 70% of USTs in existence were deposited into this anchor protocol. We're talking about $14 billion were deposited there. That was one of the big. Here's the key to UST retaining its pay. One UST can always be exchanged for $1 worth of Luna always. So if UST, for example, slips to 99 cents, traders could come in, buy a huge amount of UST and then exchange it for Luna. Since they always get $1 worth, they would be profiting one cent per token. Now the effect of this works two ways. People buying more UST drives the price up of UST. And then the UST being burned during its exchange to Luna deflates the supply. So less supply, more demand, price goes higher. Now there's also the issue of the reserve. Terra founder, or this blockchain Terra's founder, Do Kwan, created the Luna Foundation Guard. Think of it like the Avengers or something like these people's job basically to protect that one on one peg. So the LFG uh, had $2.3 billion in Bitcoin reserves, and they plan to expand that into $10 billion worth of Bitcoin. So what happened if UST started dipping below one dollar then they would sell part of those bitcoin reserves and with those proceeds they would buy ust until it went back up to a dollar if it started going above a dollar these avengers would come in and sell ust until it goes back down to a dollar now the profit of that sale would be used to buy more bit now, that was essentially how the algorithm had to work but what happened then on may 7 over two billion dollars worth of ust was unstaked basically taken out of the protocol out of that anchor protocol and hundreds of millions of dollars worth of this were sold this could have been a reaction to volatility it could have been like many say the coordinated attack whatever it was the thing is that two billion dollars came out at once and the system was not ready for it because such a huge sale pushed the price down to 91 cents. So it unpegged from the dollar. Traders were trying to take advantage of this and make that 10 cents, you know, because they would be getting $1 worth of Luna. Then another thing triggered within the, the algorithm that only $100 million worth of UST could be burned for Luna in a day. So what did investors do? They started freaking out and they started selling UST for other cryptocurrencies. And as fast as they were selling them, then the Avengers were trying to sell their reserves of Bitcoin and putting a ton of Bitcoin, billions and billions of dollars worth of Bitcoin on the market. That was bringing down the price of Bitcoin. And with Bitcoin, it brought down the price of basically the whole crypto market. And UST was basically not salvageable after that. It is trading right now at around nine cents, I believe. And it went down from a market cap of $18 billion in early May to less than $2 billion now. And, and it's worse for Luna holders. The value of the Luna tokens, it was as high as almost $120 in April. And now it is less than a penny. That is basically what happened to the market the weekend of May 7th and why we are at the prices that we are. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what your thoughts are. Do you think that this was premeditated? Do you think that this was planned? Do you think this, this was an attack or it's just a Ponzi scheme built on greed. I'm going to keep on doing more videos like this. So just let me know what other videos you would like to see, what other topics you would like to touch on. And we will be doing that. Subscribe if you haven't. Check out this next video. This one will really, really help you as well.